Many new developments in the war in Israel. A ground invasion in Gaza appears to be imminent. Meanwhile, Israel continues its punishing airstrikes in retaliation for Hamas's deadly rampage. And the situation on the ground is rapidly deteriorating. The U.N. says hospitals in Gaza face collapse. Supplies of water, power and medicine are near depletion as Israel's siege continues. At least one million Palestinians have already fled their homes. More than 4,000 people have been killed on both sides and that fighting shows no signs of slowing down. We have learned Hamas is holding 199 people hostage. That is more than previously reported. CBS News correspondent Natalie Brand has the latest from the White House. Israel is preparing for an imminent ground offensive with one very clear goal. <laughs> A crushing victory over Hamas, says Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu. Israeli soldiers say they're ready. We are ready and we want to do it to finish it because they cut our friend's head and they killed too many people here in Israel. In Gaza, Hamas propaganda video shows militants using a web of underground tunnels. There are going to be improvised explosive devices, there will be booby traps, there will be suicide vests. Palestinians with dual citizenship crowded the border crossing from Gaza into Egypt Monday, trying to get out. We are only citizens, we are not fighting, we are not doing anything, we are just living here. An evacuation ship carrying American citizens left the Israeli port of Haifa, and U.S. facilitated charter flights will continue through Tuesday. CBS News confirms President Biden is considering a possible visit to Israel. Prime Minister Netanyahu extended the invitation and the two sides are talking it over. America's top diplomat is in Israel now, talking with its leaders, including the defense minister. This will be a long war. The price will be high. You have and will always have the support of the United States. Secretary of State Antony Blinken is also trying to secure the release of hostages, but Hamas says it won't negotiate with Israeli bombs still falling. Natalie Brand, CBS News, the White House. We've also been monitoring the plight of a woman with Chicago ties. Her husband and their five children, they are trapped in Gaza, eager to get out. We again spoke to her father, who has been closely monitoring the tense situation. They were at the border today from 7 a.m. to 5 again which they did Saturday and today. So we were under uh, expectations that it would be open at nine, never opened up. Will she return to the border tomorrow, John? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. The, each, each morning is, um, you just don't know who knows what. Um, the feedback she said from the networks there, or the network of people is that um, Israel's the holdup. 